Next, I'd like to talk about the magnetic force. It turns out that if we have a charged particle moving in a magnetic field, it'll experience a magnetic force. Now, the particle has to be charged, it has to be moving, and it has to be in a magnetic field in order for there to be a classical magnetic force. For example, here's a circuit where when I turn this uh, transformer on, it will send electrons traveling down through this cathode ray tube, leaving the cathode traveling through a slot here. So I've got a slab of electrons that gets picked up on this fluorescent screen. And uh, you can see the direction of the electron travel through the tube as they go from the negative electrode to the positive electrode back around through the circuit. Now when I bring a source of magnetism up to the tube so that the electrons will then be traveling through a magnetic field, then we'll see what happens. So we get a deflection. In this case, the beam gets deflected downward. When I turn it around, magnetic field in the other direction, the beam gets deflected upward. So we get a magnetic deflection of moving charged particles when moving through a region where there's a magnetic field. When those charged particles move past the end of the magnet where there's a strong magnetic field, they'll get deflected either upward or downward depending upon the direction of the magnetic field, whether the magnetic field is this way or this way, and depending upon whether the charged particles are moving in this direction or the opposite direction, or depending upon whether they're negative or positive charged particles. But there's always a magnetic force, and the nature of the magnetic force is such that if we have a charged particle moving with a velocity in a certain direction, and if there's a magnetic field with a component perpendicular to the direction of the velocity, then there will be a magnetic force which will be perpendicular to both the direction of the velocity of the charge and the direction of the magnetic field. In this case, if the velocity of the charged particle is to the right and it's a positive charge, and if there's a magnetic field inward, then there will be an upward force on that charged particle. Again, there has to be a charged particle. It has to be moving. It has to be in a magnetic field in order to experience a classical magnetic force.